Hi friends, today I'm going to be taking you through an upper body and core workout routine that's going to help us strengthen and stabilise our whole shoulders for lots of years of happy holding ahead. We're going to start with a short warm up first, designed to get our heart rate up and activate and stabilise particular muscles that we need for lots of years of happy holding to come. So we're going to start first from the edge of our back with an exercise called inchworms. So we're going to roll it down each individual vertebrae, bending those knees. We're going to walk those hands out to a tall plank position. Now just making sure you're in this tall plank position, your wrist is positioned directly underneath the shoulder. So we're not too far backwards, we are directly on top of those wrists. Also making sure that we are not arched with that lower back. I want you to tuck your pelvis around, really trying to activate your glutes to do that and also tuck that tummy in. Then we're going to bend our knees, walk those hands back in. I want you to roll up each individual vertebrae until we're back up at standing. We're going to repeat that again. So rolling down each individual vertebrae, walking those hands out, making sure we position our shoulders directly on top of our wrists. Making sure our butt is not poking out. We are tucking the tailbone under. To do this, drawing the tummy muscles in, so sucking belly button in towards your spine and squeezing the booty. Let's walk it back in and then we're going to roll it up each individual vertebrae again. This time we're going to add some leg movements in. So first just rolling down each individual vertebrae, we're going to walk each hand out until we're in that nice tall plank position. Then I want you to bring the right knee in, we're going to hold for two seconds, release, bring the left knee in. Again, we're going to hold for two seconds and release. Walk it back in, roll it back up, and we're going to do this two more times. So rolling down each individual vertebrae, walking those hands out, position them under those shoulders. We're going to bring right knee in, release, left knee in, release. Now also make sure we're not falling through your shoulders. Pop up for me through the upper back. Let's bend those knees, walk those hands back in, and we'll do this one more time. So again, rolling down each individual vertebrae, hands on the mat, we're gonna walk it out until those wrists line up under those shoulders. We're not gonna sink, we're gonna puff up through the upper back. Right knee in and hold. Left knee in and hold. And then we're gonna release those knees back down to the floor. In your next exercise, you're gonna be needing a wall. So coming over to the wall, the most important thing here is that we keep our spine nice and flat to the wall. So that is no arching through your lower back. So placing those hands up nice and high, we're gonna think about pulling those elbows down and then releasing those hands all the way back up above the head. So during this movement, I'm thinking about pulling my shoulders down away from those ears, pulling those elbows into the side of my torso and releasing back up again. Really just aiming that you don't make a lower back arch away from the wall. I'm also trying to keep my wrists and my elbows aligned on top of each other. So I'm not letting this happen and I'm not all the way out here. Everything is pressed against the wall. Keeping your core engaged, tucking that tummy in. You will also be, or will help you keep that spine nice and flat to the floor. And then releasing back up again. Now this exercise in particular, you should be feeling right here, in those lower traps. You might also feel a bit of relaxed, but your main goal is in these lower traps. Now if I do this for you facing this way, my arms are up above head, pulling the elbows in, and releasing back up again. Now I usually like to aim for about 20 of these, just to help activate all those lower traps. From there, you're going to come up onto all fours. Okay, that next exercise, you're going to come up onto all fours. So your hands are directly under your shoulders. All I want you to do here is sink through the shoulders. Then we're going to puff up. Sink and puff. Now in this position, it's really important that we look like the perfect looking table. So don't want your hand too far forward. I want it directly under your shoulder. Same thing with your knee and your hip. The knee should be positioned directly under your hip. No wonky table. So we're going to sit and puff. 
and really try and punch away the floor as you puff it up. Try and keep those shoulders down throughout this movement as well and core engage. Nearly there, keep going for me, rounding it up, pulling the shoulders back together. Let's do one more, big round, big puff, and then sinking them back in together. All right, we're gonna wake up these abs a little bit more now, so I want you to roll around onto your back. We're gonna bring our feet up to the 93 spot, but the first most important part before we do that is making sure we flatten our spine to the floor. So we're going to tuck our tummy in, push that spine as flat to the floor as we can, making sure there is no room for us to fit our fingers between our spine and the mat. Palms up to the roof, we're going to lift one knee up, keeping that nice flat spine, other knee up. From there, I want you to place your hands on the front of your thighs, and we're going to create some resistance between our legs and our hands. And that should help you get that tension through the stomach just a little bit more. And again, to activate my core, I'm thinking about tucking the tummy in, keeping that spine nice and flat to the floor. From here, I want you to keep the resistance between your right hand and your right leg. And we're gonna extend that left leg out nice and long. And then we're gonna exhale, bring that leg back in. So inhaling to extend, exhaling to bring it back in. We're going for 12. So inhale, exhale. Again, just keeping that spine nice and flat to the floor. I don't want it to arch away. It's the most important part. So if you do find that you are getting any lower back pain and your back is arching, you can simply place that right leg down on the floor. But if you can, right knee up, using that breathing just to help that core activate a little bit more. And the next one, we're gonna hold. So I want you to just hold this one out, keeping that tummy muscle tucked in, spine nice and flat to the floor. You're gonna keep holding. Every time you exhale, just tucking that tummy in just that little bit more. All right, bringing that knee back in, let's do the other side. So now creating tension between your left leg and your left hand. Making sure your spine is really flat to the floor. We're going to extend the right leg out, exhale, bring it back in again. Inhale to extend, exhale to bring it back. Just focusing on keeping that spine flat, using that breath to help that core activate. Inhale. Exhale. As we're exhaling, just tucking that belly button in. Again, we're going for 12. All right, number 12, let's hold it out. So hold, pushing that spine flat to the floor, tummy tucking in, squeeze that leg as straight as you can. Also making sure we're keeping those shoulders down away from those ears. Keep holding. Abs should be feeling pretty good now. Let's bring that right leg back in. We're going to place those legs back down on the floor. And then I just want you to come up onto your knees. And we're just going to do a couple of shoulder stretches. So bring that right arm in front. We're going to pop that left arm over the top and just give that shoulder a nice stretch. Other side, giving that other arm now a nice stretch. And then release. All right, let's get ready to start our first circuit. Circuit number one is made up of four exercises one minute each. I'm going to demonstrate first, then we'll hit start on the timer and get going. So exercise number one is a push-up reach. So we're going to do a push-up, reach out above head. Now remember, it's really important in your push-up that we keep those shoulders down away from those ears. So I don't want this to happen as we push up. We're going to think shoulders down. So I'm squeezing more from down here as I come down into the movement. The next most important thing with the push-up is just making sure we're not arching through that lower back. So I want you to tuck your tailbone by squeezing your booty and squeezing your abs. As we drop down into the movement, I'm holding the tuck, keeping the shoulders down, going for the reach, 
and then coming back up again. Now you can modify this one simply down to those knees. We just want to make sure we're not in this push up for um, sorry in this position for the knee push up. Simply put your knees a little bit further away. From there, I'm keeping my shoulders down, tucking the tailbone under, and then dropping down into the movement and coming back up again. And then our second exercise is a tricep dip. We're actually going to do 30 seconds um, for each side of the song. So coming onto your back, hands in nice and close. I want you to roll those shoulders back, chest up tall. From there, you're going to lift your butt up in the air. We're going to straighten our right knee. Keep those elbows pointing in. So don't let them lean out to the side. Pull them in. Then we're going to lower down and come back up again. So going 30 seconds this side and 30 seconds the other side. Again, elbows in. Don't let that happen. You won't feel them work. Elbows in. Our third exercise is going to be an overhead reach. So dropping down to the floor, we're going to bring arms up above head, slightly lift it up. We're going to pull elbows in and release back up above head. Elbows in and release. Try not to let your elbow wing past your torso. We're going to bring that elbow down feels level with your wrist. Our final exercise is going to target the abs. So we're going to roll back around onto our back, keeping spine flat to the floor. We're going to lift both knees up to 90 degrees. We're going to toe tap and then crunch it up. Are we ready? All right, starting with our push-up reach first. Coming into push-up position and drop. Reach above head. These don't need to be rushed. You can take your time. Focus on keeping those shoulders down, making sure we're not arching through the lower back. We're going to tuck the tummy in, get that core cool switched on, and try and stay up on those toes for as long as you can. We're already 30 seconds through. Remember as many in as you can. Remember if you need though, we can come to our knees and simply complete this movement from those knees. 15 seconds to go. How many can we fit into those last five seconds? Rolling around onto your back. We're gonna go for some tricep dips. So hands behind, roll those shoulders down away from your ears. We're gonna straighten the right. Come up with the butt, then we're going to bend those elbows up and then straighten them to come back up. So bend down, straighten up. Keep that core nice and strong, shoulders pulled down, chest up nice and tall. Again, just 30 seconds each side. Other side, we're going to straighten the left and again just bend to lower, straighten to lift. Woo, those triceps are burning. Keep those elbows in. How many can we fit into this 30 seconds? Rolling back around to your stomach, we have overhead reaches. So arms out in front, we're going to slightly lift, we're going to pull elbows into the side of the torso, release back out above head. Pull into the side and release. Now again, just paying attention, those elbows don't wing out past your torso. Keep them down in line with your torso, wrists up nice and high. Fitting as many as we can into this one minute. Into a crunch. 
Now I'm inhaling as I'm lowering, exhaling as I'm lifting, exhaling to come up into the crunch. Again, making sure that spine doesn't arch away from the floor. If you're finding this hard or your lower back is getting sore, we can simply change to single-sided. Or if you would like more of a challenge, extending those legs out straight before coming back in. Just making sure that we're inhaling on the lower, exhaling on the lift. We've got 30 seconds to rest before we start this round again. All right, so we're going to get in position already. Grab a quick top, couple sips of water if you need. But I want to get back up into our push-up position, ready for round number two. All right, so remember, for this one, we don't want to arch through that lower back. We want to tuck the tailbone under. And also think about keeping those shoulders down away from those ears. Off we go. Push-up. Reach. Take strong thoughts through those arms. And again, these don't need to be rushed. Take your time, aiming to keep those shoulders down, abs on nice and strong. How many can we fit?
smash it. That's all two rounds done. So grab yourself a quick drink. We're giving ourselves a 30 second rest before moving on to round number two. For our final circuit today, we have four exercises. I'll demonstrate the exercises first, then we'll hit start on the timer and get going. Your first exercise is a plank up down. So coming into your plank position, really important here that we don't arch through that lower back. We're gonna squeeze our booty, tuck the tummy in, and try and aim for a nice flat spine. Now for your up downs, we're gonna step one hand under the shoulder, step up to the other, and then step back down again. Each time you do this, alternate with the arm that you were starting with. Now if you're finding this too hard on your toes, we can simply do this from our knees, exactly the same. Just making sure that elbow is tucked under. Stepping up, under the shoulder, up the other side, and then making sure you're alternating which arm you're starting with. From there, we're gonna move on to what is called a seal push-up. So resting onto your stomach. Um, depending on your flexibility, you can do this with hands right to the side of your chest. Otherwise, you can have your hands out just in front. Just make sure you keep your shoulders down away from the ears, elbows pulling in. We don't want elbows to wing out. We're gonna come down, we're gonna push up, and release back down again. So again, you can have them out just in front, or if you like, you can move the hands a little bit further back. From there, we're gonna move, we're gonna stay on our stomach, and we're gonna move into a squeeze back plus extend. So hands to the side of your body. We're gonna squeeze those elbows back as far as we can, extend through the arms, and then bring them back in again. Release, squeeze, extend, pulling those shoulders down away from the ears, and back in again. From there, we're gonna hit our abs. So this is our fourth and final exercise for this circuit. We're gonna roll onto our back, feet up to 90 degrees, keep your shoulders down, palms up. We're gonna lift those legs up, and slowly lower back down. Just trying not to flip up into this one. Keep nice and controlled. So feet level with those knees. Exhale, lift. Starting with our plank up downs first. Elbows position directly under your shoulders. Coming up into plank position, not arching. We're gonna tuck the tailbone under. We're gonna step up left. Step down. Right arm. Now you can make these as fast or as slow as you need. Just make sure that you keep your plank really steady. Now again, if you need to, we can simply lower those knees to the floor and go up and down from here. Either way, just make sure that your tailbone is tucked under. We're gonna step up under the shoulder and release back down. I actually personally like to do these quite slow because I can really focus on not letting those hips wobble keeping them nice and steady. Last few seconds, let's smash them out. Seal push-ups, dropping to the floor, hands to the side, elbows in, we're gonna roll up, keeping elbows in, and roll back down. Again, we can have those hands to the side of the body a little bit further down, if we need to, flexibility-wise, hands out just in front as we roll and lower back down to the floor. Just make sure your elbows pull in, don't let them wing out. We want to try and feel those triceps kicking a little bit with this one. And again, we're just going to fit in as many as we can. Nearly there, shoulders staying down away from those ears. Last 10 seconds. And we're gonna squeeze back plus extend. Hands to the side. We're gonna squeeze those elbows back as far as we can, keeping those shoulders down. Extend. We're gonna squeeze back, extend. Pull those shoulders down. One minute. Try and keep head looking down at the floor. Don't flip your head up, it will hurt the back of your neck. So head down. A 
And especially as you extend those arms, really think about pulling those shoulders down. Eagerly there. Let's move on to those abs. Rolling onto your back, we've got some reverse crunches. So making sure your spine is flat to the floor, palms up, shoulders down, feet up just above those hips. Exhale, lift into the crunch, inhale to lower. Again, keeping those palms up to the roof. Keeping this as controlled as possible as well. Don't slam it down. We don't want gravity to pull us back down. I want you to use your own core strength. So feet level with those knees, slowly lower and slowly lift. We can try to keep palms up. It prevents us using those hands on the floor too much. Alright, ab time. Rolling onto your back. 
We're gonna keep that spine nice and flat to the floor. Tummy tucking in, palms up, shoulders down, knees just above those hips. We're gonna exhale, lift, inhale to lower. Remember to keep this one nice and controlled. Nearly there. Whew. We totally smashed that center ground. There's just two more exercises that I'm gonna do. We're gonna do a plank and some back extensions just to kind of hit that core one last time. But we're giving ourselves just another 15 seconds to rest and then we're gonna all do the plank together for one minute. And remember in plank position, it's really important that we don't let our lower back arch. That is my lower back taking on a lot of pressure. We're gonna think about tucking the tailbone around. So coming up into plank position, we have one minute. Again, you're going to squeeze the booty, suck the belly button in to draw the tailbone around. Trying not to sink through those shoulders, we're going to pop up through that upper back. If you need to as well, if you start getting lower back pain, or you're finding you, you just keep arching and you can't prevent it, you can simply do this with your knees on the floor. You will still get a very good abdomen, but if you can, I want to stay up as long as we can on these toes. Now don't just hang out here, we need to carry some tension. So we're going to squeeze your thighs, squeeze your quads straight. We're going to squeeze the booty and we're going to tuck the tummy in and pop up through the shoulders. 20 more seconds. Let's do this. 15. Is it every time you exhale, just tuck that tummy in a little bit more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, last lot of back extensions now. Head looking down at the floor. We're gonna squeeze those arms back behind, pull those shoulders down, and we're just gonna exhale, lift, inhale to lower. Just hitting the other side of that core. Tell you what though, my arms are burning in this movement right now. Keep squeezing them up behind. Nearly there. Try to keep your head looking down at the floor with this one as well. Try not to flip it up. Pulls on the back of your neck, and it's not fun. Keep those arms up off the floor. Try and squeeze your booty to lift up into these as well. Nearly there. Last 10 seconds. Keep those arms up. And we're all done. All right, let's give these arms a quick little stretch. Ooh, I think we deserve it. So coming up into a tabletop position, we're gonna stretch open that right arm. We're just gonna thread it through the gap, resting that right shoulder on the floor. Now to increase the stretch in this one a bit more, I'm just bringing that left arm up behind my body. Should be feeling this one just behind your shoulder. How good does that feel after that one cap? <laughs> and just taking a few deep breaths. Let's do the other side. Coming back up to that tabletop position, we're gonna open up the left arm and thread through the gap. Bringing that right arm up behind for that little bit more stretch. Bring that right arm on top of the left elbow and just pulling it down. Give 
for you in a nice stretch up the back here. So you should be feeling it through that tricep. I'll give you a little back view as well. Let's do the other arm. So this time we're gonna bring the right arm above head, left arm hand coming over to grab that right elbow and pull it across. So again, back view. Hands out and bringing right arm over, left hand on top. Then we're all done. So I hope you enjoyed today's workout. Leave a comment below if you do have any questions or just let me know that you completed the workout. And if you do have any requests for future videos as well, please pop it down in the comments. I want to make videos that you guys want, but please give me the thumbs up and subscribe. It does help continue to support me, make more videos for you, but I will see you next time. Thanks.